You know, I think that's really um, in the past at this point. Um, you know, we're dealing right now on the ad side with, you know, some headwinds that are more economic driven. But just for clarity, um, you know, we had our first profitable quarter as a public company last quarter, uh, beat expectations on revenue. We guided for the year for $300 million on the top side for profitability, well ahead of street expectations. And so our first quarter, we guided very conservatively in sort of a period of economic turmoil. What we're talking about right now is pretty straightforward. We're doing sharp cost containment to make sure that profitability and cash flow comes through for our investors and market share growth. What, it's a little hard for us to predict on the ad side in particular what the state of the market is. We're calling it stable and we feel good about that. So um, how much of the, uh, the, the revenue, the, the conservatism that you're taking toward that guide also has to do with your being uh, focused on protecting that profitability and, and those margins which are coming up? Well, look, um, this is one of those wildly uh, philosophical thesis points. But look, every now and then the market goes through the kind of a gyration that's going through right now. I personally think that's healthy. It puts us in a position to get our cost at a, in the, at a level such that when the market does recover, we can have explosive and profitable growth on the backside of that. Now, we're still guiding to strong profitability even without that. Our assumption going forward is no recovery for 2023. I'm hopeful it can be better than that. But we're able to hit that strong profit note with a conservative guide. And we can do better than that if we start to see market recovery. So, John, just to dig through where the profitability comes from, I know you started in gaming. And certainly last night we heard NVIDIA say that they're expecting a rebound in their gaming business. But you've also been diversifying to other industries as well. So, so where, where are you finding the most opportunities in terms of that profitability? Well, first off, we have two divisions, Grow, which is around user acquisition, it's more ad-driven, and Create is the tools that they use to create new product, whether it's a game, a digital twin, a replica of the, the, the city of Orlando, for example. Um, we're seeing strong growth to Create almost regardless of the economy. Um, there's interest in gaming, we're seeing growth there. We grew over 100% in industries outside of gaming last year. So the industry side took off really well. Where there's headwinds, is in the advertising business. It's often said, first in a recession in the ad business, first out of a recession is the ad business, is, is you go from fear to greed and greed to fear, in terms of advertising buyers trying to build the businesses of the companies they support. So right now, create overall feels super healthy, strong, um, acceler or not accelerated, but strong growth. And on the ad side, we're taking a particularly conservative view looking forward because it's frankly hard to read. I mean, a few moments on your own show, you were showing graphs on interest rates, et cetera, that, that look like a Rorschach test. I mean, it's just <laughs> hard for people to see through them. And because they can't see through it, I don't see there's a whole lot of benefit in us anticipating something that we can't be sure about. Hence, conservative guide making sure the expenses yield the right profitability with that conservative guide and being ready when the market recovers to really deliver on the top line and the bottom line. So then, John, tell us about the, the payoff on Iron Source, which already seems to be doing pretty well for you, but that's that part of that grow business that you acquired. There's a weird situation mm -hmm. where AppLovin was trying to get you to fall in love <laughs> and you said no. But uh, to what degree are those customers who need efficiency, even in a tough ad environment, going to migrate toward a solution like the one you have versus that solution is just going to suffer in the macro? Now, one of the things we pointed out yesterday on earnings call is that we're seeing market share gains today in the market, but they all don't drop through to revenue in the first quarter. You know, customers move to our platform and then there's a period of engineering integration before the revenue kicks in. So we're already seeing early signs of people coming to our platform, market share gains that speak well for the long term. But in an area where you've got to engineer the, the, the migration of their games onto our platform, the revenue takes a little bit to materialize. And what, hence, we're showing stronger revenue growth year over year in the back quarters of this year than in the first quarter of this year.